Keeping up with current technology in the lighting industry is a job in and of itself. Industry magazines are very beneficial in displaying the newest technologies from various manufacturers, as well as having helpful articles that might explain some new technical aspects. You also have trade shows and other conferences that provide a lot of training opportunity, whether hosted by a manufacturer themselves or by the conference. There are also good organizations to follow and watch. The USITT organization is one that meets regularly and sets standards and specifications for the industry, as does the ESTA or ESTA. Those committees are made up of employees of different manufacturers, so all of the industry manufacturers are getting together to make decisions for what's best for the industry and things that we can standardize and work better together. The lighting industry in general is fun, is a great place to be, and it's full of great people. It is a large industry, but it's small. So you get the opportunity to meet a great number of people, no matter where you work, who you're working for, or what you're doing, what avenue of lighting you're focusing on. Whether it be concerts or theater, dance, architectural, you meet a lot of great people, being in an industry that is constantly evolving and changing. As a creative individual, you're always looking at things that you can improve. So what I try to focus on is every time I go into a design is improving on what I learned from previous designs and implementing them into my new design and then learning from that and growing as well. You also need to meet as many people as you can. You do not know everything you can't know everything, nobody knows everything. And the person that is first to acknowledge what they don't know is going to be the person that grows the most. And lastly, if you're going to do it, you have to do it wholeheartedly. If you don't have the passion, you're not gonna enjoy it. So that is what you have to have first.